Uh, I've been coming out here since I was five years old to visit my grandparents. It was beautiful when we first moved here. It was wonderful. You could never find a place to park on the beach. There'd be five rolls of campers constantly. Every place you could rent in town was rented. It makes me sick to, to even pull into the town now. The Salton Sea, California's largest body of water. Sometimes it displays unrivaled beauty, but on closer inspection, the nickname California's Dead Sea is more appropriate, far from what was envisioned decades ago. Here is truly a miracle in the desert, a palm springs with water. At the Salton Riviera, there is never a let up in progress. This unusual city has a date with destiny. The Salton Sea is drying up rapidly and has become a dumping ground for toxic runoff from surrounding farms and pollution killing millions of fish and birds who migrate through here. The desolated communities of people are not far behind. We own two houses. We can't replace what we have into them. Um, so you're it, stuck? We're stuck. Basically, we're stuck. And I, me and my wife just talked about it a, a couple of weeks ago. I said, you know, we're going to die here. We're going to die here because we can't get out of this, these two houses. We can't get off the beach. The paradise that once was the Salton Sea is now gone, and it's only getting worse. As the sea continues to dry up and evaporate, scientists are concerned that the dust that's left behind is full of harmful elements and can be a big danger when it blows away in the dry winds. But they also say there's a solution. This is the Earthrise Algae Farm, just a few miles from the Salton Sea. The arid climate here in the desert is perfect for growing and harvesting the algae, which can then be processed to use for food and even fuel. What's the potential for this? The potential is very high simply because of the very high growth rate. Unlike the surrounding agricultural farms nearby, scientists have shown these algae ponds take up less space. They produce year round and use less water. They propose placing more algae ponds on the dry beaches of the Salton Sea to not only prevent the toxic dust bowls they predict in the years to come, but also to create jobs. We're actually putting a pond on top of it that will produce fuel that we can then sell. So we mitigate the environmental damage, we create a product that we need for the state of California anyway, and it's low carbon fuel. It would be a literally win-win-win situation. That proposal is gaining steam. Senator Ben Hueso is exploring options through a study and restoration plan for the Salton Sea. His goal is to revitalize the economy here and once again restore the sea as a tourist destination. His only concern is that time is running out. We know what happens when a, when a dust bowl happens in a community. It, uh, it kills people and it, and, it, uh, and it kills the economy as well. The sea isn't waiting, right? It's receding. So politics may be slow, and now the environment is outstripping the rate of that. So because of that, it's really put some urgency, I think, up here. And for those who live here, the fear is that any solution will be too late. I ain't gonna see it in my time. Me and my wife, no, we will not see it in our time.